Now I've got a nice 180 degree bend on there that I can attach a hose to here and then continue on to the fuel tank. Your head is full of dreams. Tears are Hi there guys, welcome to another episode. So as you've seen in a previous video, the deadline is now on. I've got a few weeks to get Alice, to get Alice ready for a car show. Um, so I better start with the first thing, and the first thing I wanna get started is the fuel. I need to get fuel into the engine and out from the engine so that I can start it basically. So I'm gonna start with that. Right, so these are the pumps that I'm using. Uh, I've got a low pressure pump and a high pressure pump. Now you may recognize this pump because it's a similar pump to what I had when I was running carburetors. And basically it's a low pressure pump that sucks from the tank. It doesn't push to the engine. So it's quite a low pressure one. And it's got an in and an outlet. It's got a positive cable and then it's earthed through the bracket there. The next one is obviously the high pressure pump. It's got a much bigger inlet going into the pump and a much smaller outlet going out from the pump. Um, and this one's easier to wire in, you've got plus and minus on that end. So it's fairly simple to wire in. So the big problem now is where to put them. I've got a couple of choices. So the first option is obviously fit the pumps in the boot. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's getting a bit tight in here. Um, I've got the, the swirl pot catch tank on this side and the battery on that side. So there is space in here to put the pumps, um, but, be, but with this catch tank being too high, I won't be able to put a boot floor on here anymore unless I build a bubble on it. Um, so I won't be able to put a boot floor on this side. So they'll probably get some noise from the pumps, which, I mean, it's not gonna be a lot of noise, but it's still gonna be there. So this is one option. Um, Probably not the best option, but it's an option. So the only other option now is underneath the car. Now I could fit it underneath the boot floor, but I think the risk is that it'll get hit by stones and water and God knows what. The other option I've got, and I think this is probably where I'm gonna go, is fit it in this area. It's kind of a dead space here. The back box will probably come here somewhere, but it still gives me a bit of kind of dead space up here. So I'm probably gonna fit the high pressure pump in this area and the low pressure pump way off to the side here just so they're a bit away from each other and it gives me plenty of space to put hoses and stuff like that in there um, now i need to get the tank down because at the moment i put the hose there thinking it was a brilliant idea but it isn't it gets trapped somewhere under here uh, so it's not going to be any good so what i am going to do is there's a little hole up here and i'm probably going to run a copper pipe along this here that I can attach to the bottom of the car with some clips uh, and then come out here with a piece of hose and go from a hose to the uh, to the pump to stop it from getting a problem because both the outlets for the pump are in that direction so the return feed points somewhere up there um, and I'll probably bring the return across here over the top here and then over where the axle should be and I'll be able to bring it quite hidden and into the boot floor here somewhere and then take a hose across there to the catch tank which is about here somewhere. The hoses from the pumps that are then going into the catch tank I'll be able to run I'll be able to run them along here and the same thing here over that back axle there and then into the boot floor across there. So the first thing I want to do is fit the pumps, high pressure, low pressure. Uh, I also want to make a plate here to cover them from stones and rubbish and gun as well, but also as a little bit of a heat shield between the exhaust and the pumps. So I'm going to drill some holes in the floor now, fit them to the boot floor, and then I can start measuring up for a plate to go under there. That's 
them both in place. Quite happy with them actually, how they fit. Uh, I've got room now to put the cable there, so that's the plus. Another bit of plus and minus there, straight in there with the grommet. Right, so I've got the tank down, and what I need to now do, so what I need to now do is get a pipe or a hose from here, from the middle pump over there, all the way across here, into where the pickup is on the tank. Um, now I did have a hose attached to here, but if I was going to put a hose on there, I wanted to kind of double back on itself. If I get it to double back on itself, it's going to be quite tight and I'll get a kink in the hose. Um, I could bring it down here, go around the inlet manifold, around the inlet here, back up again and then back again, but it's going to get, I think it's going to get caught on the, going to get caught on the seal here and I don't really want to do that. Um, so I suddenly realised, well, I can put a, a bend in a pipe easier than I can in a hose. So what I've got is this, which is a pipe bender. Um, it's for small pipes, but it's as a, I'm not even sure if it says on it, yeah. It says 8 to 18 mil, I think, on it. So it's big enough for the pipe that I've got, which is which is 8 mil pipe. So this is fine for this pipe. Um, so what I've done is I've put that little bend on it, which means that this pipe can then run along the tank, double back on itself, and go straight onto there with a little bit of hose on it. So to make that bend, I put a piece of pipe, which is obviously straight here when it started off, but I put it in there and I start at the zero and I just did very, very small bends in the pipe, coming all the way along here and bending it around there, just so I didn't get a kink in the pipe. So it's now got a nice 180 degree bend on there that I can attach a hose to here and then continue on to the fuel tank. Right, so that's the setup I've gone for. Hopefully that's now going to fit in this top area here. It's ho hopefully going to fit in this area here. So there's a nice little bend in there rather than trying to kink the, the hose and get a kink in that. There's a nice bend in that pipe. So hopefully there's room for it and I can put it back in there and then I'll take a, a hose eventually from the pipe to the, to the low pressure pump up there. Right, so I've put in the return hose now that goes back to the tank. That comes all the way along here and it points upwards there and that will come all the way up here and it'll go into the top of the swirl pot catch tank, whatever it's called. So there's three more left to do on this catch tank. That one there is the outlet to the high pressure pump. This one here is the inlet from the, uh, the lift pump, which is the little low pressure pump. And this one is the return from the fuel rail. So that comes from all the way from the front of the car to here. And it'll fill up this tank and when it fills it up and it overflows, it'll overflow into that pipe which goes all the way back to the tank through that hose there. So now I've got to get three more hoses, probably out there, out of the bulkhead. I've started to put the fuel lines together. So this is the re this is the feed from the fuel tank going into the little low pressure pump. There'll be a pipe from there going into the boot shortly. And then they've got the high pressure pump. So there'll be a filter here that is the feed there to the engine from that one. There'll be a feed from here to the filter and from the filter to the catch tank in the boot. I think they look quite nice under the car. Um, I would have probably liked to have done this bend slightly neater, but that means I've got to change the pipes in that case. I've already had to change this pipe once because I didn't like that bend that was on it. So I've redone that one, re-bought another pipe. Um, it's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but I've re-bent it anyway and put it in there. Um, again, slightly bigger than what I would have probably liked it to have been, but well, there you go. That's how it is. So I'm quite happy with how that is anyway. What I'm going to do now is start putting some clamps. I've already made a, a bit of a start on here, so I want to put that clamp there. So I've drilled a hole there, and I'm going to put these two clamps together and then clamp them to the bodywork there with a bolt. So that'll hold those two nice and neat. Um, I've got some connectors coming for the pump and for the filter. So as soon as I've got those two parts, I'll be able to put the filter in place and start joining those two together. 
Oh, I've just got to run that pipe there to the boot of the car. Right, a couple of days later, and I've now got the low pressure pump fitted there, the high pressure pump fitted there, and also got a fuel filter fitted. Um, now this is a nice little bracket that I found up here, um, and it just bolts in one place. And I think that's quite nice because obviously we need to change that filter every so often, so it's, it opens up there with a couple of uh, Allen keys, and I can pull the filter out. Um, I've put banjo bolts on the end of there and I've changed these two um, adapters here so I can put with hoses on there so I've got with it being a 90 degree bend there I've bent the piece of pipe and put it straight into the end of that with a little hose and the same on there uh, again here it's got a 90 degree bend coming off of there and that just joins to the fuel pipe so that fuel pipe there goes to the front of the car um, so the way this works then is fuel comes from the tank here it goes in there to the little pump the low pressure pump the low pressure pump then pumps it along this pipe here and into the boot and it fills the catch tank up in the boot when that's done when that's full enough it'll then pump fuel back out of the catch tank and it'll come along this pipe here that goes into the bottom of the fuel filter and it fills the fuel filter up here from the fuel filter it then goes into the high pressure pump and from the high pressure pump it then goes to the engine when it's been through the engine the return from the engine then comes along this pipe here which then goes along here and that goes back to the catch tank so it'll, the re return fills the catch tank back up again and any overflow of the catch tank goes along that pipe there back into the tank and fills the tank back up again so that is the fuel system now completely plumbed in um, I've got the wires here as well done so there's a plus cable big thick plus cable there from the pump and the minus cable the negative cable is fitted to the chassis just there uh, and those ones I've taken straight to the high pressure pump and the cable from the high pressure pump go to the ECU and on earth. So that's the fuel system now plumbed in underneath the car. Let's go and have a look inside the boot and see how it looks in there. Right, so this is my catch tank set up. At the moment, it's not bolted, but it will be very shortly bolted down to the floor. Uh, but at the moment, I've just left it loose. Right, so that is the catch tank. Now, I did have these AN connectors to start with. Uh, I bought them with these AN connectors and I bought them with what I thought was going to be putting a hose on there. I thought I'd be able to connect these kind of hoses to it, but as you can see, they're massive. And that's the smaller one, that one. So they're quite big, uh, and it meant that they wouldn't fit on that hose properly. So what I did instead was went to a local company that sells hydraulic supplies, and I bought these connectors here, which are, it's a, it's a thread called JIC, J-I-C, uh, and it's pretty much identical to AN connectors um, but it meant I could get a nice 90 degree bend and I could fit a hose on the end of here with just a Jubilee clip um, so these ones are alright but bearing in mind I've got to go through the bulkhead here with three there and then one over there I didn't really want these massive fat pipes and hoses coming out there I wanted to keep it fairly little and fairly discreet um, so that's why I changed the system and went over to this instead. But I, and I think it looks a lot better. Um, I think, to be quite honest, the I think the silver connectors on the aluminium tank look better than these blue and red ones. Um, so yeah, I prefer these. So yeah, I prefer these silver ones on this tank. So that is now the fuel system all plumbed in and wired in. So what's left for me to do now with this car is to get some petrol, put it in the tank and um, turn the key, see if it goes bang. Well, not bang, but we'll see if it starts. We'll put it that way. Uh, and that is hopefully gonna be a video in the not too distant future. Um, I've not got long left until my deadline, so it needs to happen fairly soon. So with that said, I'm gonna carry on. I've got some brake lines to do, and that'll be a future video. Um, so if you wanna see the video of that, please press the subscribe button 
I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.